Hey, Faith family. My name is Stephen. I'm one of the pastors here at Faith. I've got with me today Tyler Daniel. Uh, Tyler and his wife Jessica came to be a part of Faith about three years ago. Uh, Tyler has been working full-time at the seminary as well as pursuing his MDiv, and God has called this family to the ministry and specifically to the ministry of revitalization and, and replanting of churches. And uh, Tyler's gone through our Equip internship, and we've been praying for some time about God's guidance and really sharpening the call in their life as to where they would go uh, when the time was right. Now, Tyler, through all of this, you and Jessica have been praying, and uh, it seems like we've prayed about a lot of different options uh, over this past year or so. Uh, is there there got some some angst in you? Where, Lord, where are we going? You know, I'm ready. I, I feel like I'm trained and I'm going. And yet God has brought some real clarity in your call, and uh, so much so that you guys have already sold your house. You're ready to graduate. Tell us about God's call and how He, how he worked in your life through that and where you're headed. Yeah, so I think one of the most difficult parts in the process is to have a desire to serve in something and to not really know where that's at and to know where that would be. And so as we pursued a bunch of different options and a bunch of different opportunities, uh, there, were, there were definitely moments of discouragement, moments of despair, but we just kept praying that God would uh, lead us to the right opportunity and would, would build a team that we could go and serve with and would really begin to break our hearts and soften our hearts for a location. And so um, through a strange series of events, we got connected with some people in South Carolina. Um, that connection then led to more intentional conversations. Um, as those conversations began to develop, I, I started to realize that some of the things that we had prayed for for a really, really long time, um, God was answering in really unique and specific ways. And so um, we've been here for, for three years. I've told, no, I've told some opportunities no, and I've been told no a lot. Um, and to finally have a, a yes now uh, and to have a direction that God's pointed us in has been, been a greatly encouraging process. And so excited to be here and talk with you about that today. And now you're going to Charleston. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you're going to be a part of a coalition of churches and networks, the Charleston Baptist Association, the Pillar Network, which we're part of, Faith, uh, as well as Citadel Square there in downtown Charleston, and be a part of uh, trying to plant what's called a hub church. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about that and, uh, and the vision for Remount. Yeah. Yeah, so we all know that one church is not going to accomplish the mission of God on their own. And so our goal at Remount is to restart this congregation uh, with a direction and with a focus towards replanting uh, other congregations. So training up leaders, equipping them, giving them the tools necessary uh, to lead a church to become a multiplying church. And so uh, if we think about an area like Charleston, it's one of the oldest Southern Baptist uh, conventions and associations really in North America. Uh, and there, there's multiple churches. There's church on every corner. Uh, but the sad reality is many of those churches have either stagnated or, or they're in decline. And so um, something needs to happen. Uh, so, something needs to happen. We need God to work and God to, to move in a way that would redirect that and would, would stop that uh, decline that we're seeing. And so um, we're going to Charleston uh, with, with all of these associations and with all of these different partnerships. Mm -hmm. But hopefully, and, and I believe we are, uh, going under the leadership and guidance of the Holy Spirit in this, uh, mm -hmm. to see God do a work, to call churches to serve together for the mission of Christ. So. Amen. Amen. A church, Tyler and Jessica, have already started putting together a team that uh, are already committed to moving to Charleston to be a part of what we pray is going to be even a bigger movement and maybe even be a pathway from faith uh, to Charleston to be bigger than just remount and bigger than just one replant. Mm -hmm. um, and so, Tell us a little bit about how God has worked in your life to bring together at least one other family that I know about and, and others that are praying, and then take a moment just to address our church and, and make a plea to us. Hmm. Why should we as Faith Baptist Church have members that would consider picking their lives up and moving to Charleston to be a part of what God's calling you guys to? Yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll try to keep it together on this. Um I, I thought I had my life planned out, and I had uh, started as a banker and a community bank, and I wanted to just follow that to the very end um, and, and was successful in that. And God really arrested my heart with something that 
I began to realize that that was such a low goal. It was such a low focus. And, and to begin to wrestle with, well, God, what, did, what have you called me to do? When, what would you have me to do? And, and as I wrestled with that, God led us to move to seminary. And, and then he began to clarify church replanting and church revitalization and all of those different things. And so now as we've, as we've been pointed in a direction and as we have this church and as we have this location on our hearts, the thing that I've been burdened with now is I just, I know, I know, I know, I know without a shadow of a doubt that there are people that sit in the pews on every single Sunday that God has called to serve in a way that is scary, that God has called to serve in a way that you may look right now at your life and where you're at, and it just doesn't seem to make sense, but there's something there that's unsettled. There's something there that God has began to shake roots and He's began to, to stir you to say, man, what if, what if I served in a way, what if I served right here? What if, what if God is moving us to be a part of something different? And you're just unsettled and you maybe can't explain it. Mm-hmm. I, I know and I, I believe that there are some people that are, that are sitting in our pews, in our family every Sunday. They've been sitting at home on the couch, uh, watching the service together uh, these past few Sundays, and there's something that is unsettled. And I would challenge you to pray and ask God, what is the next step for you? Mm -hmm. Because the church in Charleston needs faithful members who are bought into the mission to go and engage the society and engage that community with gospel intentionality, to love their neighbors, to share the love of Christ to the people around them, to go and be faithful workers in that community so Mm -hmm. that the gospel would be lifted high so that God would draw people to himself. You see, Mm -hmm. we, we don't want to be a part of just building a kingdom at Remount Baptist Church. We want to be a part of equipping and mobilizing people. And I think one of the ways that that could happen in a really special and, and significant way is if we, we leave North Carolina in the next couple of months and we bring multiple families from Faith Baptist Church who have said, man, for the kingdom and for God's glory, we're going there to be a part of this. And so I would challenge you to ask God how he would have you serve and be a part of this. For some of you, that's prayer. Mm-hmm. And, and we need prayer. And prayer is going to be huge. And, and prayer is the thing that I think is going to drive this. It's going to be the fuel mm-hmm. that pushes this forward. So for some of you, I'm challenging, challenging you to pray. For others, I'm challenging you to ask, why would I not move to be a part and to serve there? Mm-hmm. So. That's good. Faith, we have said for a long time that God has called us to be missionaries wherever we are, and that Faith Baptist Church is going to be a sending church. God's raised up men and women that we're sending to be on staff and elders at churches like Tyler and Jessica are going to Charleston. But I believe there'll be other folks that God is calling to say, I can do what I'm doing right here in North Carolina. I can do it in Charleston and be a part of a multiplying work in Charleston with Remount, with this hub church there, so that Faith has a partner in Charleston, and we both are mobilized in different areas, and the Lord would spread that out and that we would be a sending church, that uh, people would feel called and and respond to the call of God to go all over the nations uh, with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Tyler, if somebody felt like, Tyler, I want to talk to you about that. Mm -hmm. Of course, they could call Pastor Ben, our mobilization pastor. They could get in touch with me. But if they really wanted to talk about Charleston, what's the best way to get in touch with you to talk about that over these next couple of weeks? Yeah, I'd be happy to set up a Zoom call to talk face-to-face uh, as much as possible. Um, yeah. So I've, I've got my phone number. I'd be happy to give that out to people, an email address. Um, really, whatever is easiest for someone who would love to talk about this. I, yeah. I'm more than willing to accommodate as best I can to make okay. that happen. And so phone number, happy to put that out for okay. everyone, email I uh, love to set up a Zoom call and and maybe we can have a uh, maybe we can have a Zoom call where multiple people get together and you yeah. realize hey God's not only stirring my heart there's also these other people uh, that are interested in our congregation and being a part as well. All right. so. Sounds good. Look for a meeting that's coming up whether it's on Zoom or if the governor opens us back up here at Faith we'll be together in person but look for an interest meeting uh, about this Charleston replant very soon and uh, we'll give you the information on it through our website. And uh, you can be a part of what God's doing in Charleston. Thanks so much, Faith Baptist Church.